Hey everyone, it's Deborah Hanlon. Thank you for clicking on this video. Happy November. So I'm not going to take a lot of your time. I just needed to reiterate what my article says below. So whether you're a video watcher or an article reader, hopefully this will suffice. So normally around November time, we all like are talking about being gratitude and, and really paying attention to what we're grateful for and giving thanks for. Of course, we stick with the theme of Thanksgiving and that's super important, of course. We, but... I, I just know you guys. I know that you, if you're listening to this and you're on my mailing list, you are somebody that practices gratitude regularly. You are someone that sees the value in appreciating who you have around you, what you have, um, where you are in your life, even when you're not in a great spot. So I really feel like that's kind of like preaching to the choir. I feel like you're already doing that. What I am seeing from a lot of you, my clients and colleagues and friends, is this very large sense of ugh, kind of feeling stuck. I'm hearing it from everyone everywhere, and in, to certain degrees, I'm feeling it in certain areas of my life as well. So there's that's there's nothing wrong with this there you're fine so in this time in this month especially as we move into the holiday season after coming off this pandemic that we're still in of course um relationships have changed our tolerance for relationships have changed our ability to be around energies or personalities that we don't necessarily have to be anymore it has dwindled. We, we don't want to be and we're, we're getting clearer and clearer on kind of who fills our cup and who doesn't. And this is a good thing. This is very good. Holiday times, this might get challenging because now we're inviting people back into our homes or we're invited to other people's homes or there might be more parties than there have been in the last year or two. Um, and it's time to really go inward and pay attention to your needs. Pay attention to the that nagging feeling of, oh my God, I don't want to go, or I can't handle being around so-and-so, or I can't, I can't cook what I usually do, or bake what I usually do, or I don't want to spend so much time on presents. I'd rather create experiences. Whatever is coming up for you, please let my voice be a reminder to honor whatever you're feeling. Give yourself permission to be and to feel and to act on that being and those feelings in a way that that works for you and is right for you. So, you know, really be mindful as you move into November and into the holiday seasons and into the the winter time that it's okay to go inward. It's okay not to know what's next for yourself. You will. It's not forever that you're feeling uncertain. Uh, the more you honor how you feel and what feels good versus what doesn't feel good to you, the better off you'll be. So if you're on my mailing list, you are, you're a natural healer. You're an empath. You're an intuitive. How do I know that? Because you wouldn't be here if, if you weren't. So those of you who are wired this way, it's imperative for you to really move forward. It's imperative that you really listen to that inner voice, pay attention to the energies around you. And as you move through this, this phase that we're in or this stage that we're all in, you will be elated when you're through with it. But if you really don't honor those emotions and that intuitive inner feeling, then, then it's going to be harder for you. So Pay attention to your feelings, honor them, give yourself permission to be, and just notice what lifts you up and raises your vibration and what pulls your vibration down and act accordingly. So I hope this helps. I hope everyone has a wonderful Thanksgiving and wonderful November, and hopefully I'll see you. I have a lot of stuff coming up. I've kind of been on a little bit of a hiatus myself, not knowing where I'm going to be and what I'm doing, uh, but I'm adding a lot more classes, including a... Uh, intuitive coaching series, a 10-week series beginning in January. So that'll meet once a week on a Monday night and we will meet via Zoom 
and we'll really get our our new year kicked off to the right start. It's not about New Year's resolutions either. I don't do that. I think you guys know that already. I'm also going to be finally teaching. I've been certified now for a while from the Chopra Center, um, and I just, it hadn't felt right to really begin it, but now I'm starting my primordial sound mantra meditation workshop. And this is where you will get your own personal mantra based on, it's calculated by the time and date and where you were born, very similar to an astrology. So you will be assigned a personalized mantra and I will teach you how to use the mantra and what this is even about and what what to, what you do with this mantra. So those are coming up as well as a mediumship and intuitive development and training workshops. So I've got a lot coming up. Uh, hang tight, sit tight. We're in for, for good stuff coming just as long as you stay centered. So Enjoy. Thanks for your time already and have a good one.